change of plans today um, we're gonna do some logging but it just ended up being kind of windy and uh, just not the right day for it so uh, changing things up a bit and going to I just have a few logs to mill that are on the deck uh, these two came from the same log I'm a little concerned about this one here um, whether that's punky uh, I just I see those white dots in there and it makes me think that that's not solid wood and so we'll just have to see the other end of this log is the same way these the end of this log and this log uh, marry up there so I wanted to make some one and a half by eight out of those uh, for the fascia boards uh, but if they're not sound boards then they're not gonna work but at least get through these four logs here this afternoon and uh, get some milling done.
when you're making that third cut on a cant, um, I'm using the brace down here and you're kind of sizing the log up. And what you really like to see is when you shave that piece off, that it's nice and thin all the way down, yet with very little weighing on the, on the cant that you're trying to do. So um, that one turned out about perfect. I just got a little bit of uh, weighing or bark on this bottom end, but that's definitely acceptable. So yeah, just by chance um, that it's like that. Uh, most of the time it doesn't work out quite as that or you guess completely wrong and you're eating into the far end or uh, you have to take make a second cut because it's bowed. But what I'm making out of this, this is a five, eight, five inch piece and I'm just making decking um, uh, that, that'll go on the rafters and I'm just kind of piling that up. I'm making random uh, widths so that some will be four, five, six, seven, eight inches uh, depending on what kind of log I have. And so it'll have a, a varying degree of thicknesses as I sheet that. But um, so I don't know how many I'll get out of that uh, one inch material. Um, I'll flip it over and I'll probably get six. So that'll be, that'll be good. So that log, um, six one by five by, I don't know how long that is, uh, by 19 feet. So uh, some of this wood just isn't looking very good. I figured that I would have a little more time on the decay, but um, let me spread these out and take a look at them. So, yeah, I, I think there's definitely decay happening in there with those white streaks. Um, I don't know if that's good enough for decking. I have to worry about it. I'm certain once I cut them and the, the dries, then that decay will stop. Uh, it'll be the under or the sheeting for the roof. Shouldn't really be getting any more moisture. Um, and then a, a full one inch thickness. So, I don't know, the jury's still out. I'd hate to throw those out, but um, tell me what you think. Uh, whether that's good enough for Ruth sheeting or whether I should pass on those and, and mill some fresh. So, anyway, uh, it's got a bit of square footage there. Uh, Lars and I milled quite a few uh, one by material last couple of days so starting to get there
Well, that last log I was able to get four one and a half by eight. And I don't know how long those are, but 17 or 18, 19 feet. Um, I need them 17, so I'm another plenty good there. Um, and I think they're good enough quality for the fascia boards. Um, I'm going around the whole perimeter, and so I think I need at least double this, maybe five more. Uh, of course, I have it calculated, but I don't have that with me. It's in the truck, but anyway, good looking stuff. A uh, little bit of weighing on this board here, but I think I can hide it um, by putting it the other way. Well, I had I got this next log up here, it's a dandy. Um, another jack pine, uh, one that we just cut down yesterday, so it is super fresh, heavy, uh, it's like 15 by 14 on the butt there. But what I'm worried about are these white specks here on this end, and so I'm not sure what I'm going to get out of that. I might have to, if, if it looks a little punky or soft, then I will just cut one by material out, out of it. Um, this other log has the same thing because that's was the where where the cut was made. Um, has that punky there. The tree was alive. It was green on top. It's a shame because those are nice straight big logs. Um, this butt might be a little challenging because it has some rays that go in there um, but we'll shave it down see what we get
able to do uh, 10 by 10 cant and so I just cut it into one by material so there's 10 one by 10s. Uh, most of them are a good 19 feet. Uh, this top log has a little wing at the end that will cut off. Uh, did, did find it and that tail end a little questionable in a certain area so I decided not to make any uh, fascia boards. Um, so I just did it all one by material, but that, that, that covers a lot of square footage on the roof deck, so, or sheeting. So I didn't get through that one log, but I'm calling it quicks for the day. Appreciate you watching and uh, hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and we'll catch you next time. I had to pause here a little bit and take a look at how pretty that larch is looking. Uh, this is super heavy log because it was just fallen a few days ago. Um, I have no idea, but my little jack stand. And...